Skylar, 21, future diesel mechanic, 12 miles away. I'm a country boy who loves animals and anything outdoors and with wheels. It's hard to find a date because I treat girls right. Oh yeah, buddy, that's the reason why it's hard to find a girl. I struggle to find a partner because I just treat everyone too well. Bottom line is, I'm too great. I think I'm just too perfect for my own good. <laughs> it just holds me back. Seriously, dude, that doesn't even make any sense. Why would you think that? Oh yeah, that's right, nice guys don't think. Welcome back everyone, hope you're having a great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning back in. In today's roller coaster of emotions of a video, we're gonna be checking out some more nice guys. My favorite annoying guys. I'm having a really good day today, I hope you guys are as well. The channel right now is doing better than it ever has. That's insane. I swear to God, like a week ago, I put a story on Instagram thanking you guys for 40,000 subs. And we're about to hit 50,000. It's so surreal, I don't even know what's happening anymore. It's so weird. I'm so grateful for all the support and for you guys watching my videos. It means so much to me. So yeah, that's really cool. Thank you so much, guys. Speaking of guys, let's jump into the nicest of them all. A creep from school that I don't know that well asked for nudes. Got really mad when I refused and started barking bullcrap about why women don't deserve any rights and that they should submit fully to their masters, in brackets, men. Oh no, this will be good, won't it? Why are your parents so oppressive? Why do they force you to do things you don't want to do? Ah, uh, what? No, seriously. Seriously, why don't they let you hang out with guys? Why do they push you around so much? Uh, I'm really confused here. I think you got the wrong person. No, you really are Lexi, right? Yeah, but why would you think my parents oppress me? I'm completely happy with my family and my life. No, they've brainwashed you. That's why you don't have a boyfriend, right? I know you want to be a you-know-what. No, they haven't brainwashed me. I don't hang out with anyone because it's my choice. And what the hell do you mean I want to be a S-word? Who are you to make judgments about me? Person I didn't ever even notice before. Prove it. Send me nudes. Uh, no. Come on, I'm a nice guy. I won't send them to anyone. I will treasure them forever. You don't even sound slightly nice, dude. Go away, creep, or the police station is just down my street. This just proves that I was right. If you really were free, you'd have no problem sending nudes to me. It's not like you don't have confidence in yourself. I've seen you at school. Thought with a body like yours would definitely be overconfident about her sexy looks. If you were were really free, you would have no problem sending me nudes. Bro? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't have to prove anything to you or anyone. I'm sharing this on the school group chat, you thirsty f And don't try unsending those messages. I've already taken screenshots. Bitch, I just wanted to take you out of that hell hole. Out of the people who oppressed you, but it seems like you don't want to be helped. You are too far gone. And then S word again. And then B arch. And then the C word. It was so good back then when women obeyed their masters without any hesitation. We men are your masters. Don't forget that, B arch. C words like you don't deserve any rights. You dare refuse someone superior than you, a man. I sent this to my dad, the school principal, the school group chat, and I will take this to the police in the morning. You handled that so well. Well done. That's so terrifying. Like, imagine thinking like that. Oh, bums me out. Just a misogynistic, manipulative, like rude, self-centered guy. Like, it doesn't get much worse than that. <laughs> oh, God. When I was 17, I used to work with kids. I once gave a family my phone number after they asked if I could babysit. I only met the family once and never actually babysat as the father informed me during my phone interview that he felt he loved me. Four years later, he made his return as a nice guy. No way. <laughs> Hi, is this you? Wait, who is this? Do I have the right number? Is this still you? Yeah, that's me. Who is this? Did this is Zach. You've been saved in my phone all along. The Zach that I'm thinking of, but I felt that it was finally the time to tell you. No, no, this Zach. When I first met you, I was instantly drawn to your beauty. You were stunning to me and just a beautiful, fine young woman. I met you initially as a prospect for a babysitter at the gym. That was maybe like three and a half to four years ago. Ah, yes, I do have a boyfriend now and I must admit this makes me feel uncomfortable. As we only ever met once. Oh, I had no idea. Happy for you. Take 
care. Goodbye. But no, that wasn't a goodbye, was it? He's not done, of course. That was the one reason why I held back at the time because of your age. You had a lot of growing up to do that I recall and still appears you do. If you feel uncomfortable when someone compliments you in a positive manner, then you have issues. Just saying, weirdo. Makes no sense at all. Food for thought. Next time someone compliments you, you probably should express some bit of gratitude. She doesn't owe you anything, bro. Oh, oh, the audacity. It'll probably get you a lot further in life. I never asked you if you had a boyfriend or not, so way to break out the boyfriend line. Good for you. Your attitude makes you an ugly person. And from your comment alone, I would never trust you with my child. Nor would I ever endorse you to anyone. Peace. Yeah, peace, bro. Have a good one. You're not insane, are you? Nah, nah, nah. Totally normal guy. 100%. So reasonable. Can somebody not handle rejection? Oh, you poor thing. You see someone once in your entire life and you automatically fall in love with them. And four years later, you text them and you're getting upset at them because they're not grateful for your compliments. Oh, <laughs> just take a step back, assess the situation and think about that, dude. She doesn't need to be grateful for anything. You're lucky that you even got a response, man. Why are men only nice to you for three weeks, lol? Because girls ignore the actual nice ones. Every guy I've met who's called himself nice has been narcissistic and they're usually abusive. Yeah, 100%. Maybe not abusive, but definitely narcissistic. Even if what he said was true, which it completely isn't, that still doesn't make any sense. Why are men only nice to you for three weeks? Because girls ignore the actual nice ones. So what, after three weeks, you're just going to be a piece of crap? <laughs> they try so hard to play the victim and make the women look bad. All this is doing is making you look worse, dude. I sit behind this guy in my history class. We talked a few times and exchanged numbers. I thought he was legitimately a nice dude. I was under the impression that we were friends. Then he crappily photoshopped my face onto a meme he made when I turned down his offer for head. <laughs> when he's genuinely a good guy who texts you back and makes you happy. Nah, when he's an absolute dirtbag who treats you terribly and constantly makes you second guess yourself. This is you because you obviously wouldn't want to be with a man who will treat you lovingly and be yours forever. Oh yeah, dude. I'm sure she doesn't want that. <laughs> it says in the title that you asked her to, you know, lick your lollipop and then as soon as she didn't, you get all upset. Surely guys like this realize that they're in the wrong. If a nice person got rejected, first of all, a nice guy wouldn't even ask that. It shows where your priorities are straight away. And also, if you were a nice person and you did get rejected, you wouldn't make a meme about the other person trying to make them feel like crap about themselves. That's not a very nice thing to do, man. But no, you could never do no wrong, could you? I swear, they actually think they're perfect. It's really weird. Maybe they just always got their own way, and as soon as they don't get what they want, they just can't handle it. I really don't understand. Do girls regret rejecting a nice guy for a jerk? No, they'll say, oh, I wish they were like Mark. He's such a nice guy, a great friend, as they're spooning that gallon of chocolate Hagen does. But they will always go to the jerks because they love jerks. They just kid themselves that they don't. What are you saying, man? That's probably half your problem, man. You're telling girls what they should think. You don't know that. <laughs> if they actually had a look at their behavior and like what they say to people and how they act around people, they'd realize that they're not nice. They're actually just delusional, I think. And also, they rejected you for a reason. They're not going to date someone else and then be like, oh, I really wish I dated them. Like, they had a reason not to date you, dude. They're not going to automatically fall in love with you. I can imagine if you were dating someone and you took them for granted and then you broke up and you dated somebody else and they weren't as good of a person, you might be like, oh, okay, this guy's not as good as the other guy. But that's a completely different story to this and that's actually assuming that you are a nice person. I don't know how else to put this, but do you like to have fun? Like sexed and send nudes? I hope it wasn't rude. Ha ha ha. I've done it in the past, but to be honest, I don't know if I'm down for that right now. I'm also really tired, so I'm going to peace out for the night. Talk tomorrow. No response. Die. <laughs> No way! And then sends the little sparkles. <laughs> oh my god. That is so awful, but also hilarious. Even if I had that conversation with someone, there's no way I wouldn't have been laughing so hard. Obviously not okay, bro. Learn to handle rejection. This girl doesn't want to send you nudes, so you tell her to die. But just with that emoji afterwards. <laughs> I feel bad even saying it, but that's so funny. Nice girl logic. I'm so lonely. Yeah, 
100%. And like this top comment says, this girl probably just wants some genuine friendships, not a dozen men harassing her to get in her pants. Not everything needs to be about sex. Yeah, that's exactly right. And that's all nice guys care about. And you can tell that nice guys don't even respect women because as soon as they get rejected, they treat them awfully. But as soon as they know that they're not going to get what they want, that's when they start to show their true colors. Why doesn't she ever give me a chance? Because all you want to do is sleep with her and you don't even care about her, dude. Treat humans like humans, man. You're hot. It's been nearly two years, bro. I'm still taken. Damn. So what's it going to be? You keep asking me out and I reject you or you just stop. La, I'll stop. Good. <laughs> what's so funny? Your face. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Every time I read this subreddit, I'm always thinking, are you a child? <laughs> now we know. Yes. Your face. Ha, ha, ha. Hilarious, dude. Hi, Liv. I hope you're doing well. Do you like boba? If so, would you like to get some boba together with me tomorrow? Wow, the ghost in Queen 2021 right here. Tell the devil I said hi. I hope you and your family all die of corona. <laughs> no way. Oh my God. <laughs> what is wrong with these guys? That's horrible. Oh my God. Guys, we're doing some made me smile right now. The highlight of my day was my teacher bringing his cat to school. And every time he asked his class a question, his cat would meow and he would accept it as an answer. Oh, no way. I love cats so much, but mine are so boring. They don't do anything. I wish they were like super playful and fun, but they're just not. They just sleep all day. My dad built a goddamn pizza oven in our backyard. He's been making pizza since 10 a.m. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Oh my God. I want one so bad. I cannot wait to have a house and a pizza oven. What could be better than that? That's amazing. And I've already forgotten about nice guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you destroy the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're about to hit 50,000 subs, which is insane. It blows my mind every single day. I can't even believe it. That's halfway to 100,000. <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys are the bee's knees. Today's comment of the day goes to Moon Chandler. Runs away to watch Vincey cutely. Oh, how adorable. There's nothing cuter than running away to watch my videos. That was from my latest Creepy Asterix video. And <laughs> the comments on that video are so good. Okay, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a wonderful night. And I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with two brand new fun videos. I'll see you guys then.